In this video I am talking about class based view, how to create a list view with the help of class based view. In this video I will show you. And this is a very good feature with Django. You can use this in any blog website or any other website. To create a list with the help of class based view is amazing and wonderful. So let's start. This is my Django project and this is the Django app. So at first go to settings and install the app first. Now go to urls.py and create a path for app.url. So go to the app and create a urls.py. Now go to models and create here a model. I create a model for student. So class student models dot model and create some field for name, email, subject and school. I have created field for name, email, subject and school. Email is email field name is character field subject is character field school is character field so create a class for meta class meta this class for ordering so i reverse the name now define the str function so pass the argument self and it returns self dot name so save it now go to admin dot pi and register the model at first you have to import the model so from dot model import student so now type admin dot site dot register pass the model name student save it now go to views.py so at first import the list view from django.views.generic import list view now import the model student from dot models import student so create a class for student list give a name whatever you want so student list class inherit from list view so here context object name so this is what this is a django variable for object so give a name obj for object and template name give a template name list dot html and and the model the model is student okay save it so now go to application create templates folder inside the templates folder create the file list.html so now go to the bootstrap and copy the starter template paste here ok so now open the cmd and at first make migration and migrate the model So now create a super user. So username is admin, email is admin at the red gmail .com, and password is admin. So now run the server. Okay. 
so now create a url for the list view so at the urls.py here i already created a path for app.urls so go to urls.py inside the application so now create a path for list view so at first import the view so this is a class so you have to add as view and name of the url is list okay okay so now save it and run the server again okay class based view you can see here so now go to the admin and the password is also admin so log into the django admin now go to the student and add some student so here student name is mike email is mike at rate gmail.com subject is science school is xyz high school so similarly create some object so i have now created some object so now run the local host again but you can't see nothing so now go to the html file list.html so here create a for loop for grabbing the object one by one for x in and the django variable is obj for object so for x in obj so i just print the name of the student so x dot means object dot name okay so here is the name is a field object dot name so now save it and run the server so you can see here so i just add a h1 tag and add a container class so now save it and go to the browser so you can see the list of student are here tony rick mike john i will show one more thing if you remove this context object name equal obj means object so remove this and save it and run the server so run the local host you will see nothing now go to the templates and list.html so here change the obj this obj means nothing now so now remove this this obj means nothing now so remove this go to the views.py and the model is student so you should write here student and student is in lower case okay now type underscore list for the list view so you have to type student underscore list and student list should be lower case so now save it and run the server now go to the browser and run the local host so you will see the list view of student tony rick mike john so thank you for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel